Hey, uh, Taurus. I am Jamie Hauk. I am going to be doing a reading to summarize of what lessons you need to kind of wrap up for 2016. I know you only have two weeks to do that, but it's, or maybe you already did, but it's kind of reaffirming what lessons you've worked on or having to work through. So if you have anything to unfinished business to wrap that up before 2016, because 2016 is the nine year, which is a completion year. And 2017 adds up to one, so it's a brand new year. So whatever is in 2016 that you don't want to carry over into 2017, you need to work on that and get rid of that baggage. And then I'm going to focus on three cards for 2017 of what's going to be upcoming for the next year for you to work on and to focus on. Again, um, I'm going to be using three different decks. My first deck is from the Enchanted Map. So let's see. What? What message do you have for Taurus for 2016 that they have to wrap up? What is the lesson that Taurus learned for 2016? Oh dear. All right, so you got two for that. Okay, what is the upcoming lesson for Taurus for 2017? I'm feeling I need to shuffle it this way. A couple times. Okay, what is the lesson for Taurus for 2017? Stop. Okay. All right. Overall, and then this is going to be the energy oracle cards. Okay, so what is the overall energy for 2016 for Taurus? What is the overall energy for 2016 for Taurus? What is the overall energy for 2017 for Taurus? What is the overall energy for Taurus for 2017? And then this is from my new deck, Wisdom of the Golden Path. I just got this this weekend. Uh, all right, so what other message do you have for Taurus for 2016? Two cards keep wanting to come out for you, but I'm not going to do that line of reading. What final message do you have for Taurus for the upcoming 2017 year? Actually, all of this this deck is always read right side up. There's no reversals in that one. Okay, so for the first deck is you got deep freeze right side up and intention upside down. Um, so, and I'm just gonna read off the other cards because I think they actually all tie in. Walking away is the reversed for the overall energy. And wisdom is the final card. This is actually reversed. This is a deck that I'm saying I don't, I'm not, I don't know. It's a brand new deck, so I'm deciding on if I'm going to do reversals or not yet for it. Um, but I actually think the reversal would actually work. When I first put that down in the reversal, I was already getting messages from it being reversed. So what I get from this, though, is... You have been stationary. You've been in the same spot. You haven't been, to me, this egg represents like ideas and that. And the fact that it's been reversed is you haven't been using those ideas. You haven't been walking away and you're not using your inner wisdom. So there's been some situation for 2016 that you have been allowing to continue. And you know better or you have an idea of what to do and instead you are standing still. So for to wrap that up so you don't bring that into the year 2017 is you need to figure out what it is that you are being so stubborn about. Taurus, my fellow lovely Tauruses. That can be very stubborn. So what are you being stubborn about? Um, sorry, my dog is chasing my cat. Um, 
in since this is a, is a general reading, I, I can't really focus on exactly what that entails for specific people. I mean, it could be about a relationship. It could be about career. It could be uh, about a family member. It could be anything. You know, it's just something where you know within your head and your heart that you should be doing something else. And instead you are staying stationary or you're allowing whatever to continue, even though you know better. So it might behoove you to really do some reflecting on what that situation might apply to and really wrap that up because you do not want to bring that into 2017. So um, what I have then next for 2017, let me see here, is this for if they get rid of, if they work through this or not? Again, I, I, I can't pinpoint because, I mean, some of you guys might, some of you guys might not. So, I mean, if this is a general message. So, I mean, take take what take what applies to you and then leave the rest, you know. Um, the first card is come together reversed. Uh, for the energy is the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. And the golden path within is the final card. So coming together, so coming together reversed is you might have some separations in the beginning of 2017 um, or to really turn this right side up is you need to start reaching out to loved ones come together with them whether it be significant others or family members is start opening up and asking for help or reaching out to them um because as of right now it's reversed so and or like i said it could be because it's showing since it's upside down coming together that means that there's going to be a separation or um some type of change you know whether it's a separation from a family member or maybe it doesn't always have to be something negative maybe you're having a child move out of the, your house or something or a roommate is moving on or you know um you're moving on to a new job it doesn't have to always be something negative but something is going to be impactful enough that it came through and the overall energy this for this next upcoming year is going to be really focusing on balancing your seventh chakra your seventh chakra is essentially at the top of your head. And what they say is it is your connection to the divine. And, and that's how you get your messages, your intuition. And so when that is out of balance, you know, essentially it's like what's coming to mind is a telephone line, you know. Um, it's to keep your telephone line clear, your intuition clear. When that's not balanced, it gets clogged up with gunk and you might ignore it or it comes through jumbled or you don't believe it. So it's really trusting your intuition and balancing that. Um, I'm feeling that I should read off the, although I guess it wasn't reversed, but um, the affirmation for this one for you. So... All right, so this is the affirmation for it, is my seventh chakra is open to its perfect healthy state. Love and inspiration from spirit and my own intuition flow fully to me now. So it's going to be really about trusting your intuition. And I think that ties in with this back in 2016 stuff is you know better, but you're not trusting it or you're ignoring your intuition and, and what you should do. So this is really about balancing that and trusting that. And... This one I just got in a previous reading, so I will read it again, but it's the golden path within. So let me read this for you. And there's going to be affirmations for these as well. It seems like you have lost your way, feeling a little confused, unsure of what direction to take. You question what it is you really want from life. Well, this card is here to help you. The right path is not in your mind, it is in your heart. To find your way home, you must travel the golden path within. The following exercise will help you find both direction and purpose. Close your eyes and imagine a warm golden light within your mind's eye. 
the area between your eyebrows. Now feel the light within your heart also and imagine the light expand in every direction until you feel yourself cocooned in a bubble of golden light. Relax and breathe in golden light, which now transform into every color of the rainbow and forms an aura of rainbow light all around you. Now imagine yourself on a beautiful golden path surrounded by nature, lush trees, flowers, and the sound of birds. Your face is caressed by a warm and gentle breeze. The path stretches to the horizon at the end, which is a large golden sun. The golden path is your life. The sun symbolizes the light of your soul, which is here to illuminate your path through which you see the way forward. The breeze is your intuition. The voice is spirit forever within you. That's sticking out to me. So just to note that. Okay. So maybe you could kind of do that for 2017 as a way to remind yourself to balance that chakra is, you know, on a breezy day, really take that moment to balance that chakra. That's what's just coming up in my mind. Okay. Um, through the golden path you within, you discover all you need to know. There is no need to figure out in your mind what your heart already knows. Within is the way forward. Practice the golden path exercise each day until looking within becomes second nature. So here are four affirmations that you can use for 2017. I am guided by an inner light. My path is clear and joyous. I go within and discover my true purpose. I go within and discover the whole universe. So um, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Uh, make sure to kind of wrap up that stuff from 2016 so you don't carry that into 2017 otherwise it's just going to be a hard lesson and you're going to stay stuck instead of moving on to where you're supposed to be going for your life path um or like they say the golden path so uh thank you for watching and stay tuned for my weekly readings thanks bye Mwah.